Welcome back to the Audulous module library tutorial. This is 1.4, putting it together. And we've learned about the clocking a sequencer. We've learned about clocking the envelope. Now we're putting those two things together uh, to actually finally make some sound. So uh, like always, I'm gonna read the patch, walk through it, and then I'll turn up the sound and we can experiment with a little bit, okay? So first, uh, in this patch, the clock is driving both the, sequ uh, the sequencer and the envelope at the same time. So you have the clock here, the sequencer here, and the envelope here. The sequencer is controlling the pitch of the oscillator. Since there is no quantizer module yet, you have to tune each step yourself by ear. The VCO is the module that creates the sound. Tap on it to read more about it in the inspector panel. So you can go here and read more. There you go. The delay effect adds some sonic variety to an otherwise plain patch, and you can adjust the output volume of the patch here. We'll turn it up later. The sequencer has a little random motion added to it by the direction knob, this thing right here. Uh, every time the clock pulses, it has a 75% chance of moving forwards and a 25% chance to go backwards. The envelope shapes the loudness of the VCO uh, the oscillator through the VCA here, the amplifier. It goes, uh, it also splits off and goes through an attenuator module, uh, attenuator tile, excuse me, uh, and modulates the shape of the VCO wave right here. So this is the VCO, this is the shape of the VCO, uh, and it's modulating through here. I experiment with different amounts of envelope being sent to the VCO shape modulation input. Different wave shapes will sound different and react differently to the envelope. Okay, so turn this up. So right away, you can probably tell, okay, this isn't exactly in tune, and that's because we don't have a quantizer. A quantizer is a special module that will snap these values to a scale, and that's coming in the next uh, few few tutorials. But for now, you just have to tune everything by ear, and so I'm going, I'm gonna make this go forward right now. This can be kind of fun if you're into like a little creepy, kind of like off-tuned, uh, or you're getting kind of like the original modular experience where you really, they didn't have quantizers and you just want to dial in your notes exactly. And it adds a little bit of that sort of analog sound of it, not the pitch not being exact. Um, but uh, personally, I use quantizers. We'll, 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 get that, we'll get to that in the next uh, few tutorials. It's a little easier to work with quantizers. So uh, again, this, this is controlling um, the sequencer as it's moving forward, uh, and I can make it move backwards, or anywhere in between. Or I can have like, it's mostly going backwards, and sometimes going forwards. And then if you have it right in the center, it's pretty much just gonna bounce it around in between a few values and not move very much, because it just has a 50-50 chance of going one way or the other. So, uh, we can explore different wave shapes. So here's the VCO, we can have different wave shapes. There's the sine wave, the square wave, triangle, and saw wave. And of course we're talking about, we're going to the uh, envelope here that's sending modulation to this here. We can expand that. Reduce it. Okay, try the uh, whoops. triangle. This is like the overdrive, and it makes it sound uh, more square like. And the square wave, which is the pulse width. sine wave, which is doing a, you can see it's a, it's folding the wave around there. So. Okay, and of course we have the clock, which is clocking the envelope going to the VCA, and without the VCA, no sound, right? You need, you have the oscillator that's just on all of the time. We can see that by going here to the waveform. And you can see it's going so fast, it can't draw it correctly here, but this, uh, 
is the you know one and negative one here. That's the output of the VCO making sound, and it's going to the VCA. But if there's no uh, if there's nothing there opening the VCA, then you're not going to hear any sound. So that's why we attach the envelope here, and it will open the VCA and let the sound through according to the shape that the envelope is making. And we can of course play with the delay. This delay has a cool effect where you can, kind of, you can turn the feedback all the way up and it has an infinite uh, delay effect. It won't just run away completely, it, it keeps it within a certain range. So there you have it. So I encourage you to uh, to play around with this patch and all of the, the subsequent patches so we can make some sound together. It's, you can really get lost in just a simple patch like this, tweaking uh, parameters and really getting to know each module in context. And it really does help to first focus on small patches like these where you can really zero in on what is exactly every single control doing because you have a ton of controls on screen right now and you'd think, oh, this is so much to remember, but once you have used them and have, have a memory of using them in context, it's a lot easier to drop them into a new patch and be, okay, this is what this does. I don't have to look at the uh, documentation uh, again and again every single time you pull something up because you, you have it in your head, this is what this thing does. Okay, A stands for attack, D is decay, sustain, release. You might already know that from another synth program, great. Uh, but you know, this, this knob here, this is a little, this is particular to this sequencer, but that means direction. You can always just uh, turn these knobs and observe what's happening. Okay, here's the end, that, that, that immediately you see this reaction here from this red um, uh, dot here that d defines the uh, stopping point of the sequence. And you can experiment and uh, get, keep getting to know each uh, uh, you know, co collection of modules in each one of these tutorial patches. So go beyond just what you have written here and you will learn a lot faster uh, how all these modules are working together because I'm trying to in each one of these uh, bring one or two new concepts at a time without overwhelming you but that doesn't mean that you can't just sit with a patch for a while experiment and play and have fun with the sounds so once you're ready see you on the next one